wine friends and happy Sunday. If you're new, I'm Ellie from A Glass After Work. Thanks for joining. So today I am trying something new. Uh, we've been drinking some more cocktails, particularly when we're out and we've started talking about making more cocktails at home. And I thought it would be fun to share a little bit of what we're thinking about and what we're trying and what we're drinking um, here. I figure it's not going to be an every week thing, but maybe every other Sunday, um, every couple of Sundays, have a little bit of a Sunday fun day, right? So with that, I thought I would start off with a variation of one of my favorite cocktails. I am a big French 75 drinker. Um, I love gin. I love bubbly. So how can you go wrong with a French 75? Um, if you're not familiar, French 75 is generally um, a little bit of gin, some lemon juice, some sugar, and then it's topped off with some champagne or sparkling wine. And um, there you have it. Uh, it. It's usually served in a champagne glass, uh, although originally... Uh, from the research I was doing, they actually used to serve them in Collins glasses. The French 75 is one of those kind of classic cocktails. It was started in Paris, probably not surprising, at a bar called uh, Harry's New York. And it's uh, supposedly named after a 75 millimeter howitzer cannon, uh, which was used in World War I. So that's kind of my French 75 background for you. I am not gonna do a classic one tonight though. We're gonna shake it up a little and I'm gonna do an apple cider 75. With that, why don't we get started? I'm gonna start by putting a cinnamon sugar rim on the glass. I'm gonna use my apple cider to do that. Just um, take uh, some a little bit of apple cider on the paper towel. Oops. And then I'm just gonna wipe it around the outside of my glass to make it a little damp so that the cinnamon and sugar stick to it. And I've already put together, I've already put together the cinnamon and sugar mixture. It's a tablespoon of sugar and um, it's a tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm just running the rim of the glass in the bowl that I've put it in. And there you go. Uh, I've got some cinnamon and sugar on my rim and the glass is ready to go. So next up, we're gonna make the actual cocktail. I've already put some ice in my shaker to um, make sure that the drink is nice and cold. And then we're gonna start with the gin. I'm gonna use Tangeray. I'm a big Tangeray drinker, so that's what we generally have in the house. Tangeray is my favorite kind of gin. And I'm gonna do um, uh, a one and a half ounce pour into the shaker. And there we go. And then next up, I'm going to do the apple cider. The apple cider is from our Whole Foods. It's Country Acres Premium Apple Cider. And I'm gonna do a one ounce pour of the apple cider. It's non-alcoholic, it's regular apple cider. And I'm using the apple cider instead of using the lemon juice, which is in the classic uh, French 75. Then we're gonna put a teaspoon of sugar into the shaker. And there we go, just a little bit of sugar. And then we're gonna close the shaker up, make sure the top is on nice and nice and good. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, shaker's getting cold. Shake, shake, shake. Give it a little more shake. Shake, shake, shake. And uh, everything is nice and cold. And then we'll just, there's a strainer on the top of my shaker. Um, if you don't have a strainer on the top of your shaker, you want to make sure you use a strainer so you're not getting the ice in your uh, drink. Pour it on in. Get it all nice and out. And of course, we're going to top it off with some bubbly. I am using a Trader Joe's Blanc de Blanc to uh, top it off. And obviously, 
I guess that does mean that it's not quite a French 75 since I'm not using French champagne, but you do uh, get the point. So there's the cocktail. And then of course, no drink is done without a little bit of garnish. So I've got one of the small apples and you can either put the apple on the rim um, or you can put it on the top of the glass just like that. I'm gonna keep it on the rim though. Um, and it's just, it's just a little bit of a, a sliced apple, right? You just take off the bottom of the apple and then you slice it nice and thin. There you go. So let's give it a try. Cheers. Mmm, yummy. Um, yeah, so that is what I have for you today. I'd love to know, do you, do you like cocktails? What cocktails do you drink? Um, are you a French 75 drinker? Have you had one of those? And um, have you tried an apple cider uh, 75? Let me know all of that information down in the comment section below. And so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate those. If you aren't already a subscriber, you can do that by clicking on the icon right here or on the subscribe button down below. But don't forget, also click on the bell because it will notify you when I upload a new video, which is gonna be every wine Wednesday and now also sometimes on Sundays. And if you are looking for a recommendation, you can find one right there. Thanks for joining me and have a great Sunday. Cheers.